I wanted to share a little secret with you guys. I'm addicted to Slurpees and Icy's. I may have shared this before. I don't know. I average four or five a week and it's horrible for you. Mm. But since my sweet tea has gone down to almost a non-sweet tea, I'm barely putting any sugar in my tea no more. I figure it's evening it out, but oh my god. Oh. I have no idea how good that is. It's just so delicious. And I can't stand for my hands to be wet. And so I always wrap all my drinks in uh, paper towels. It doesn't matter. Bottles of water, everything. I don't like my hands to be wet. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. Okay, I wanted to chitty chat real quick. <clears throat> I keep flipping back on and flipping back off. Okay, so I have a process at work at home that is a working that I'm bringing up here to work. So that's my altar space here at work with one of them. I have Medusa over here. Um, my altar space is here so I have a candle that is on my working altar at home setting and I'm going to light it up tomorrow one two three yeah it gets lit tomorrow well it gets lit tonight at midnight and then I'll bring it to work with me tomorrow what I'll do is I'll snuff it out and then I'll bring it to work and finish it here at work but anyhow besides the point so we had like so many apartments because we did some cleaning and then some rent prices went up and People didn't renew their leases, so we ended up with literally one, two, three, three, 29 apartments. Yeah, 29 apartments. And so I started working this spell at home. I'm like, okay, so we need some help to get this going. And I haven't even lit the candle yet. I've only started the process of the making of the candle, um, the making of the mixture that's going around. I don't want to say too much because I'm showing it in a video. So just the process of making the whole thing for the spell work in the two days we have leased almost all the apartments but just because we've already leased most of the apartment doesn't mean I'm not going to finish the spell so see we still have a few to go but I know that those are going to go pretty quickly but I'm still going to complete the spell and the spell is going to last for about seven days so I could get cocky and not finish it but that's not what you want to do when you write out a spell you need to see it through it's it's very important to see a spell through I know I'm still working this camera I'm never going to learn it never gonna learn it you can see like my forehead it's, it's like most of my videos you're in the forehead pose I apologize but yeah so when you write a spell out complete it even if the outcome is already coming through there was years ago I had done a similar spell for it my previous job and I got cocky and we leased the apartments I didn't complete the spell and I can't even tell you how many of those applications didn't go through cancellations happened. we couldn't get the apartments ready in time to move them in always finish your spell work even if the outcome is already showing its head that it's there always finish your spell work Is this happening? He's gonna kick your ass. He is gonna kick your ass. Watch. Here we come. I told you he was gonna kick your ass. I told you. You're a big old monster. Why is this on my bed? Ow! Why are you gonna bite me for? Why are you gonna bite me? Ow! Ow! you and your ugly face. Who hears dopey feet? It's the bow legged baby. Oh, there she is, honey. <laughs> it's the bow legged honey. <laughs> okay, I need to find the thing to make a video. 
I need to find it. I'm going to share some kitties because they're also asking about the kitties all the time. This is Oreo. He's the oldest. No, Oreo's not the oldest. Tiger is, right? How old is Oreo? How old is Oreo? Eleven. And how old is Tiger? Eleven. But he's she's six months older than him. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Oreo. He's the well, he's the oldest male that we have. Yeah, I'm around. And then this is Tiger. Hi, Tiggs. This was the first cat that anybody had. So she is really old. Really, really, really old, aren't you? What, why are you? What? You just, she's gonna get all up in my new fern. Look at her. So that's Tiggs. All right, the neighbors are swimming. Come on. Let's go see if we can find Katie Bot. Let's go find Katie Bot. Okay, so there's four cats in the house and six dogs. And yes, my house is still clean. Yes, because I clean all the time. Non-stop cleanage. Okay, so let's go see. <laughs> and then this is Fiera. People always complain because I always show the dogs and never the cats. This is Farah. Yeah, I know she looks like a bowling ball, but she's not. She's a cat. <laughs> Say hi, Fiera. How old is Farah? Um, I've had her for about eight or nine years now. And she's also a rescue, so she's at least nine. Yeah, she was yeah. years She mostly stays in the room. She comes out when she wants to harass the rest of the animals. Get her. Look, she's being really nice to Rusko. She's like, what's happening? Yeah, she's shown him already. She chased him Yeah, I would have loved to have that on camera. I would have loved that. That would have been hilarious. Best day ever. <laughs> I can't find Katie, so I don't get to show Katie. She's usually under the bed until at nighttime when she's playing all day. Oh, the husband's driving in. I saw the red SUV pull up. Let's just say hi to everybody. We Say hi to everybody. Hi. I'm going to show them what she did. So I was cleaning out the um, ancestor altar area and putting in some new bread and I came over here and found a banana chip See? and when I was cleaning it out I was like okay I don't remember doing that and his sister's like I put that there I was like oh he still does things that made me so happy he still does things oh. always honor the ancestors right always absolutely at least he doesn't forget that so this weekend when we went out to dinner, I know it's dark. We went out to dinner. My kids built this whole section for my husband's garage. He only had that part before. And we came back home and they had built this for him. Isn't that sweet? Hoo hoo. Look at that. That's cool. That's about like eight feet long. So now I got it in my head that I want us to build it all the way across so we can clean this part of the garage yeah it's a mess that's like our painting section and then right here we have like our fishing and beach stuff some dog stuff and then the bottom two shelves are stuff that i use in like ritual and stuff when people over and then big pots and pans toiletries so now they got me wanting to organize like this they started it i see you i saw you it's like 5 in the morning, and the dogs are up. It's a beautiful morning. You can tell it's going to be hot. The, the cats are outside drinking water from the pool. Can you see them? I don't know. Let me turn this light on. There they are. You see? I just opened the door for the day, and the cats came outside. They used the doggy door. Hey, Jade. Good morning. So, I got some planting I'm going to do today. That table has to be put up. So yeah, after work, I'll be doing some stuff in the yard. We'll be doing some stuff in the yard, huh? Yeah. Good morning. So we're in the office. It's Hi, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so because of hygiene habits with some of our tenants here on the property, it is hard to sit with them sometimes. And there's this one particular tenant that comes in and, and he's literally, I've, I've vomited twice and uh, Laura, I guess today was his third time throwing up and Flo has thrown up multiple times because of the smell and it's so bad. Like, I'm, I'm not even being mean. I don't know why I decided to vlog it, but like, 
he smells so bad. Like, he makes us throw up. That's something that we have to put up with, and there's nothing we can do about it. We're, we're still kind to him and nice to him and say thank you, but two times, one time with Laura, one time with me, we've literally had to run away from him, catching our own vomit because the smell is so horrendous that comes off of him. It is so bad. And it's just one tenant that's like that. And I've been doing this for like 20 years, and this is the only time that I've ever been made to vomit like that. It is horrible. Horrible. You hear her voice because she's got her notes on her phone from walking an apartment. I got Laura right now cleansing an apartment because it's one of those apartments that just was real negative while we were working it. When I went to walk it while we were working it, I got instantly angry when we were in there. And the maintenance guy, he's like, he hated being in there. Remember Benny? Mm -hmm. He said he hated being in there. It would literally drain you out. It was just a horrible apartment. So, And now we leased it. But we've been so busy, we haven't had time to go do anything with it. Mm -hmm. And the people who lease the apartment are having a hard time getting their electricity connected. And they were supposed to move in last week, and now they try to move in today, and they still haven't been able to get their power on. And so they're having a hard time. So right now, we're like really busy. You can see all the stuff we got. This is, this is hell. So we sent Laura over there to do a little cleansing, so hopefully she'll be able to get it feeling better. Yes. We'll see how it goes. If not, you will see good vibes need to be in that unit <laughs> good vibes yeah it was weird because i also found some um orange yellowish feathers in there almost like canary feathers in that apartment i couldn't place the bird that those feathers came from in that apartment i found four of these feathers with a corn on the cob and like i don't know what kind of magic that was the people who lived in that apartment were burmese so I, I don't know what was going on in there. Um, I have no idea. All my Burmese people here are amazingly sweethearts. So to have an apartment with that much negativity in it is weird because, you know, but everybody in every culture has negative people. I'm just saying, just people that I've come across on this property have been so sweet. I don't know, she's cleansing it right now and we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't go well, then there will be a video of me going over there and trying to do it myself. All right, back to work I go. Mm -hmm. Turn the camera on. And now you're going to stop running? What's happening? What's happening? Yes. Yes. Jasper's, Jasper's a friendly dog. Jasper's a friendly dog. He's at home. He's swimming. Like he's swimming. This is the cat that uses the doggy door. What's happening? Oh. Violence. I need to behave. Okay, so I am going to brush Jasper. We do this three times a week because, you know, obviously he's malamute and the shedding is real you should see my shirt can you see this this is sitting next to him it's covered but we brushed him three times a week and it is interesting so i thought let's share this experience hey people where's your phone baby where is your phone where is your phone where is your phone let's show everybody let's see if you can see this i don't know if you can see it yeah you can see it I hope it'll show how much hair I actually get off of him. Oh, it's gonna look like it's snowing, people. You see that? I, don't, I hope it's showing. If it's not, then you're just watching me just brush a dog, basically. And this is three times a week. So this is his third brush for the week. And we get it all over, and I have another brush that I get in his tail with. minute he'll lay down. Oh my goodness. It is a today, buddy. I'll tell you, these type of dogs are not for the lazy. I'll tell you that. Right now. Come over here. Come over here. I'm going to show them just a little more. 
Isn't he beautiful now? I love this dog. I love all my dogs, obviously. And we've used all kinds of brushes, and this one is absolutely the best brush on him. It just kind of digs it out from in there. We got the Furminator brush, and it's good, it really is. But this one, I don't know, it just pulls it from underneath. It's fantastic. The child's here to help, because the mama has bad hands. Get on the chest. I haven't got his face fixed. He's sitting down, I haven't got his butt yet. There's a lot going on today. A whole bunch. Blowing that coat, buddy. What do you want, Steve? <laughs> you will, what do you want, Steve? You will not be singing while you mad, sis. We will not. We will divorce. We mad, sis. We will divorce. That was my husband singing "Why You Mad, Sis" by Left Cheek and Right Cheek. If you're curious. Let me show you our nectarine tree while my son took over for a minute. Show them our tree, Daddy. What happened? And we got some good ones in there. This is our nectarine tree. Look at all the nectarines on there. We were hoping to get some apricots this year. Let's see. It had flowers. What about the berries? The dogs knocked the berry bush over again. Oh, we got a lot of blackberries. Ooh, blackberries. Don't you love it when you can just go in your yard and eat? And all I do is go, <laughs> give it a little blow. Give it a little blow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Blackberries are good. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Yummy. Okay, let me show you what we have on the ground so far for hair. This is his hair. And there's little nests everywhere. And the thing is, is that we get this three times a week. And we still are not done. Still got to brush his tail. Look at all that comes off. I don't know if you can see it. It's just so much. And it can't be fun for him. I mean, it's Texas and it's hot. But he doesn't have to stay outside if he doesn't want to. They have doggy doors. Come Salut. Thank you. Why are you mad, sis? <laughs> Why are you mad, sis? Why are you running? Why is he running? Everybody knows what he looks like. That's so handsome. How big he is. How big the dog he is. It's hard to tell with him next to the little dogs. Babe, go over there so you can see. Babe! I feel like you're ignoring me and I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate your attitude, ma'am. Just I don't approve. Jasper. What are you doing? Jasper, let's go see how big you are, everybody. Baby, oh. Oh. Tootie. Tootie. she's literally saying, "Get that camera out of my face!" Look, get that camera out of my face. Get that camera out of my face. Hmm? And get that camera out of my face. Get your camera out of my face. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. I love her face. It feels like marshmallows. Hmm. You feel like marshmallows? Yes, it's stop it. Stop it. Her collar is filthy because she likes to roll around in the dirt. She is the dirtiest of all the dogs, I swear. I don't know why she's sitting outside. They have two doggy doors. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Fuck. Fuck. I, went, no, I can't monetize that. <coughs> it's dark. Super dark. So we just came out of the movie theater. We saw Ma. It, it was it supposed to be a thriller? Yeah. No, they're saying it's like a horror movie. Okay. But I don't think it, it was, was not a horror movie, but no. 
she was crazy and kind of a killer, but not horror. Why don't you do that? Oh, oh there you are. They can see us. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so it was. It was pretty. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't a horror movie. No. It was one of them crazy, crazy movies, but it was not a horror movie. <laughs> What'd you think, Daddy? How was the movie? Boring. Because <laughs> when it ended, you go really. <laughs> Junior, what'd you think? Where is he? It was interesting. I thought it was it was good. It's just not what they advertised it to be. So that's our opinion on mine. Do it, honey. Walking away from me. Are you hot, Paige? Why'd you go outside? It's not hot in the house, but that's the temperature inside our house. That, oh, you can't see it. It's 68. That's the temperature I keep my house at all times. And then they go outside and get too hot and forget that they can come in. Look at how. Jasper! Wait, are you gonna walk under her? That makes no sense. There you go. <gasps> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hey, let's go. Thank you. We're cleaning house and it's really difficult, I'm gonna tell you. To clean and sweep the whole house because they follow me everywhere. It's like my entourage. It's an entourage of dogs. It's an entourage of dogs. Dogs just everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> Jay, I didn't hear you in here, honey. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? So it's the morning. We got the music going and we are going to get the cleaning done. Me and my husband have dinner plans tonight with a couple of other couples that we're going out with. And yeah, so I'm gonna get some cleaning done and hopefully there'll be some interesting things to vlog. I do wanna come on here and talk about some stuff. Um, hoi, 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 hoi. I think I'm going to start um, holding kind of, not meet and greets, but... Oh, what happened? He's gonna bite you. Are you okay? Chihuahua was mean, y'all. That Chihuahua was mean. I'm gonna start holding like um. What happened to my music? I'm trying to do music. The phone's ringing. Oh, it's my best friend Nicole. See, she's on her big butt. Let's answer it. Hello. Okay. So it's the end of the night, and um, I'm going to go through and do like my final clean through. We're going to put the dogs in bed. <laughs> That's what you're going to call it because they take over the living room. We kind of put them in there, but Jade has a run of the house. Um, a final run through to clean the house before bedtime. You know, any final dishes, stuff like that, right? If i got to make another pot of tea, that's what I do right now. It's after 10 o'clock at night, and that's usually when the house is the quietest. So I go through and do that. So I don't have any little kids, right? My kid, my youngest is 13. So I shouldn't have toys on the floor, right? Let me show you what I have to do every night because remember I have six dogs and they all live in the house and do whatever the hell they want to do anytime they want to. So I go through checking, you know, their food bowls and whatnot. So in here is where I'll start. There you go, baby. I'm seeping. I come in here. What is this? What is this toy? Mm -hmm. And then you come over here. There's two more right there. Like I have toddlers, right? So put those in this box and those in that box. Oh, look, there's another one. There's another one under the gate. You can't see it. There it is. Okay. I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry, Toka. I'm sorry, honey. And I don't think you can really see. So I'll turn the light on. Okay. And then there's more under there. I can pick those up. Put those over in their box. They have two boxes. They have a rawhide box and a toy box. Go in bed, Tucker. I'm scared because I hit the gate. There's another one right there. Another toy. You see it? Okay, so that's the living room. It's pretty much done. You can hear to Tootsie snoring already. <laughs> so I'm going through the final clean. These are the bandanas I got to cut and put the new bandanas on, huh? Just putting things up. Taking trash out, all that sort of stuff. There's Sarah. Say hi, Sarah. Ooh, you're lively tonight, girlfriend. 
How are you? Mm -hmm. So that was this room with the toys. That's one room down. Go to the next one. Put this here. This here. Yeah, don't look at the dishes from dinner. I gotta clean. So we go over here. There's another room. There's a J-Boy in here. Turn my lights on. Ooh. What do we got going on in here, Jay? We got a toy, a rawhide, another rawhide. Mm -hmm. That picked up. See, here is their boxes on the other side. And look, another ball. So, yeah, no toddlers, but the cleaning is just like having a toddler. I swear. Ain't that right, Jay? So, I go through every morning, every night, sweep, clean. I'd say it's not easy having six dogs, but it's worth it, huh? Especially if you like having a clean house, it's not easy. <laughs> that white princess. Oreo's in the house. Oreo! Meow. Yeah, I don't really see the cats very often, and, and people ask me, but they just really don't come out much. There's Angie. You haven't seen Angie in a minute. Ooh, she's smiling. Oh, she's so happy. Hey, girl. She just move. I'm gonna go back and watch this and see. Yep. She is so happy. She has been wanting me to come back and make YouTube videos. She really has. So this room is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So then I just have the kitchen. But yeah, so I have to go through every night <laughs> and pick up all the toys from my dogs. Not my children, <laughs> but from my dogs. So that's pretty much it. Good night, babies. That's pretty much it for our, our nightly, my nightly thing. I'm gonna go wash the dishes and I don't think you wanna watch that, so I'm not gonna show it to you. Okay, so also something that I do at bedtime, because like I was, I've was, i said before, every day Hecate's main altar, my money altar, and down the hallway the ancestor altar is lit every day. Every day, no matter what. Um, we do turn it off when we go to work, but it's lit every evening, and then on the weekends it's lit, sort of like that. Now my husband turns off the ancestor altar. Thank you. Have fun. The boys just got a new car, so they're going to go and drive their car. Um, so yeah, my husband blows out the ancestor altar, and I have these sparkling lights on the bottom that are on a timer that helps us with the walking in the hallway. So what I do in the evening when it's time to do Hecate's altar, because, you know, if you watch me, you know I have a pendulum hanging above her and have for years. So what I do is I come in here and, of course, I do my symbol. And I'm going to redo it when I'm not on camera, but I'll do the symbol with her. And then I do that, a little bit of energy. I blow out the candle and I spin the pendulum. And as long as it spins in a perfect circle, then I'm free to go. But if it doesn't, it's not time to go yet, and I have to share some more energy. And then I do it until it spins in a perfect circle. And it just works for us. It's our thing. And then the ancestor, I mean, the um, money altar, which you can't really see. Hold on. My money altar, which is right here at the front door, as you can see. It um, usually has two candles, but always one. But a lot of times I do have another one here. I just feel the need for two. I don't know what the deal is, but I do. So I will also I'll do my symbol on it, share some energy, and then I blow it out. Rub my hand across it and go to bed every day without fail. This is my money water. I have my money oil, anointing and watering and constantly maintaining it. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not maintaining it. So, yeah, that's the money altar. And that's what we do. Well, that's what I do. <laughs> to my front door. And I think Jade's getting annoyed. She keeps, she just threw herself on the floor. I heard you throw yourself on the floor. She's like, it's past bedtime. Why are you still awake? <laughs> All right. Cutting out now.